And finally, new rule, conspiracy theories have to go back to what they used to be. Fun little stories we would tell each other when we were high. <laughs> Space aliens crashed in Roswell. Hitler escaped to Argentina. Elvis is alive and working at the IHOP. <laughs> That's what conspiracy theories used to be. But now they're the ideology of the Republican Party. Conspiracy theorists used to be called crazy. Now they're called senator. Fact. It used to be an unwritten rule of both parties that you can't just make shit up. The old, you're entitled to your own opinion, but not your own facts thing. But that was before Republicans discovered, yes, yes, you can just make shit up. <laughs> You can have your own facts. In fact, we just pulled a fresh batch out of the oven. <laughs> and by the oven, I mean our ass. <laughs> you know, I never liked Rush Limbaugh, but I would take a return to 90s era ditto heads any day, because it turned out that Rush was really just a gateway drug <laughs> to which they eventually built up a tolerance and then needed something stronger. That was Glenn Beck, which led to Alex Jones. And now, Republicans, you're the Alex Jones party. <laughs> there is literally nothing too stupid and conspiratorial that you will not swallow. Hillary running a child sex ring out of a pizza parlor. <laughs> Sounds right. <laughs> Obama's birth certificate, fake. Jade Helm, absolutely. Trump Tower, the crazier it gets, the more they like it. That's their jam. They believe anything, so we can stop sending reporters to diners now to figure them out. They're not there for the breakfast. They literally think there are clouds in the coffee. <laughs> this week, we found out that 83% of Republicans either definitely believe or are unsure whether five million people voted illegally in the last election, something Trump just completely made up. He even appointed a voter fraud commission based on his own fraud. <laughs> hey, you remember that bullshit I made up? I want you to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> this isn't about ideology anymore. Trump has none, anyway. When he decided to run, he didn't brush up on conservatism by studying Buckley and Reagan. And his only experience with Goldwater was in a Russian hotel room. <laughs> And this isn't about actual Republicans either. Those guys are gone. George Bush the first quit the NRA in 1995 when some gun nuts called the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms jackbooted thugs. Bush said it deeply offended his sense of decency and honor. But when Alex Jones says children fake their own deaths at Sandy Hook, it doesn't deter Trump from telling him, your reputation is amazing, I'll not, I will not let you down. They're soulmates. <laughs> you say twisted crap to crazy people, so do I. <laughs> we should grab a pussy sometime. <laughs> the latest thing Trump pulled out of his ass is this nonsense about the FBI spying on him. There was no spy. It was just the Bureau checking out whether someone on the Trump campaign was communicating with Russia, based on the tiny fact that everybody in the Trump campaign <laughs> was communicating with Russia. <laughs> it's what the FBI does. Investigation. It's in their name. <laughs> Even the folks who believe that the world is secretly run by an alien race of shape-shifting lizard people, <laughs> they have a video to back it up. <laughs> Can't argue with that. But Spygate, there's literally nothing, and that is so alarming, because one way we measure the health of a society 
is by how conspiratorial it is. Communist countries, Arab dictatorships, those places you could always say, sell anything because there was no trust in the institutions. Republicans, that's what you're doing to this country. And so the only answer is that more sane people have to vote than insane people in every election. So, so tell, tell your sane friends that the midterms are the most important election of their lives and tell your conservative friends that climate scientists are working with the Clintons to slip a chemical into the air ducts at polling places that will turn everyone who votes gay. <laughs>